No. He's reacting to a tennis ball. They stood in for the other family members as Eddie Murphy filmed each character. Then all the characters were composited into one shot. We'll use the same technique and get to sit and relax late. I'll tell you where to react to. And you folks watch the big screen as we go to dinner with the clumps. Watch up here. <laughs> I can't wait for Shirley to bring me home from Brandon. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, no. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Yeah, I know a wonderful church down there on Main Street. Oh, Carla, I know a wonderful minister. Let me get this back around here. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs>
wants a helmet. No brave youngsters. I see none. How sad. All right, I have to up the age limit. Nine. Nine years old. No, no, going for ten. Ten years old. Ten years old. Now still no ten. Eleven. I have to go up to eleven. It goes up to eleven. Roy, it goes up to eleven. What? You are not eleven years old. Please, very try me. Get out. I see no one volunteering. Congratulations, you win. Come on down. You're the next contestant on the Price is Right. Da 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 da. Da 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 da. You're 11, man. Nobody's gonna mess with you with you hit 18. Let me tell you. They're gonna be like, uh uh. Come on down here. Now you're gonna take this very special helmet and sit in the very seat of honor in the front row. It's very exciting. Very exciting times. So right here in the front row for me, Jim will come get you in a few minutes. There you go, right down here. There you go. Hang on to that. Have a seat. No, no, don't put it on yet. He'll come get you in a minute. Who came with what's his face? Jose. Who came with Jose? You did. How do you know Jose? I know. How do you know him? Husband, boyfriend, that's your husband. Okay. He's dead. <laughs> you shouldn't be laughing. Look at her. She's like, <laughs> I have insurance here. All right. Welcome, everyone, to Stage 32. This is where we used to shoot horror movies. Now it's where we do horror makeup. That's why we have the creepy stuff. That's why it's the creature factory. <laughs> There's a rumor that it's haunted. it's haunted. We don't believe it's haunted. It, we are not going to die. He's not going to die, Jim. Nothing's going to happen. Get out. Jim, wait, Jim. Well, folks, you talk about Universal, you talk about horror movies. We've been home to some of the greatest. Let's have a look at them. Here they are. stage blood. It's the same stuff like this bottle, except this bottle's almost empty. Everyone, aww. aww. I had to use real blood. Everyone, yay. Yay! Let's see whose blood I can use. Come on! Yeah! It's Jose, everybody. It's alive. Give it up for Jose. He's alive. Hey, Jim, look at Jose. He's alive. Yeah. It's supposed to be dead. Yep. Fix that. Over the years, makeup artists have used a variety of substances for blood on screen. The original Psycho is a black and white movie. For the famous shower scene, it was Hershey's chocolate syrup. In the color remake with Vince Vaughn, it was corn syrup and red food coloring going down the drain. But uh, we don't have that stuff. We're going to use Jose's blood. Who wants to see Jose's blood? We know the evil laughing wife does. Watch up on the blood cams and cut his arm off, Jim. Yeah! Nice! Okay, Jim, cut. Cut, Jim. Jim, cut. That isn't stop. That isn't stop. That's out of the bone. Yeah, show him how it's done. It's a blood knife, folks. And notches in the blade. Tube on the back is filled with corn syrup, bread, food coloring, cut with it. Oh, it's gross. So kids make blood at home. Scare your parents. Now, uh, Jose's had a rough day. He's been fried with lightning. His arm's been cut open. And uh, his wife left when he died. Give it up for Jose, everybody. Jose, right there in the front row with your wife and one of the insurance. Thanks for coming to the Creature Factory. There you go. Universal you talk about this man, the great Lon Chaney, the man of a thousand faces and actor back in the silent film era. He created his own makeup for classic movies like Phantom of the Opera, paving the way for this man, Jack Pierce. He created the makeup classic of the Frankenstein monster makeup. Also, The Bride, The Wolfman, and The Original Mummy. Now that led to Bud Westmore. Bud Westmore created the creature from the Black Lagoon. There you go, Chucky. And uh, these are the modern 
car was a Rick Baker. Rick Baker's the guy coming up in the glasses. He won six Academy Awards in makeup, his first for American Werewolf in London. Now, traditional makeup can't handle everything you need. Sometimes they bring out puppets and mechanical creatures like this guy. A replica of the one used in the kitchen scene in Jurassic Park. Dear you. Nice. Scare the lady. Nice. It's the scene where the kids push against the kitchen door to keep the velociraptor out. That's what they pushed against. You never saw the back half of the dinosaur. How you doing? Okay, and you never saw it talk either. Uh, now, this is not a velociraptor. That's the weird thing. They actually modeled this off a real dinosaur, but what was it called again? A Hapasaurus. Hapasaurus! Yeah. Hapasaurus! I love that. Give it up for Jim, everybody. Come on, give it up for Jim. It's his last day at Universal. You know, I'm kidding. Come on, you got two weeks. All right, you're going to talk about prehistoric creatures. You talk about director Peter Jackson. He created some fun ones for King Kong like these guys. Oh, nobody's going to think these are fake. He created an entire island of prehistoric creatures and some of the nastiest insects ever seen on screen. Now, the creatures were all computer generated. Uh, that meant the insects, the dinosaurs, even Kong. But for Kong, they actually brought in actor Andy Serkis. Now, you may not recognize Andy here in his monkey suit, but here he is in the movie. He played the cook who was eaten by a worm. Or two worms. Or five worms. Now, for Khan, they put Zergus in a motion capture suit. The suit was filled with sensors. They put 132 sensors on his face. The other six were acne. Now, recording his movements, they would transmit them to a digital model of Khan. Facial expression. Body movements. And he would still be on the set every day in a gorilla suit. So if an actor had a scene with Khan, they reacted to him rather than a green screen. Especially helpful for a leading lady, Naomi Watts. Now, letting Circus play a digital character like this gave Kong a range of emotion. A range of emotion that has never been seen in a Keanu Reeves movie. <laughs> or Steven Seagal. Or Vin Diesel. Or Chuck Norris. And now, ladies and gentlemen, who is the world's tallest 11 year old? Who is it? Kayla! Kayla, everybody! <laughs> Kayla is wearing a telemetry suit. Now, the suit was originally designed for a five year old, number one. Now, this is designed as a remote control, okay? It acts like a remote control for a bunny rabbit. The bunny rabbit's about my height named Fluffy. Remember, it was designed for a five-year-old. That's why it's a bunny rabbit. All right, so we're going to bring him out. We'll explain how this works. Your helmet is the bunny's head and the bunny ears. This is the bunny's body, and these are the bunny paws. So you can put the paws together. You can make the bunny rabbit hop around his cute white fuzzy bunny, okay? All right, turn around and say hi to the bunny. I know. I lied. I'm a guy. Get used to that. All right, now, what's going to happen is, once you power up Fluffy, whatever she does in the suit, Fluffy imitates, okay? So arms at your sides. Stand right for me, right on that exit death. We only call it that because of what keeps happening. Now, your suit is from the waist up. It only works from the waist up of the wolf. you got to follow me and move slowly, all right? Let's go over the important points, though. One, he's expensive. Two, he's expensive. Three, have fun. What's the most important thing? It's expensive. That is correct. <laughs> you break him, you bought him. Yeah. Kidding, your parents buy him. All right, hold still. Jim's going to power him up. He will jolt while he powers up. The jolt is normal. That's normal. Okay, now, take your right arm. Bring it up in front of you. Bring up your right arm. There you go. Bring up your other arm. Good, move him up and down, get a feel for him. Nice, hold him in front of you like Frankenstein. And turn at the waist. Good, go the other way, other way. Show the range of motion, nice, straight ahead. Arms at your sides. Now, your helmet's voice activated, watch his mouth. Now really loud, just go, Rawr! See the mouth? The head of the werewolf is empty, it has a mouth mechanism though. Say, I am fluffy. Yeah, I am fluffy. See that? The head's empty, the mouth moves. It's like Britney Spears. Except he still has hair. And he wears underwear. All right, bring up your arms. You're a werewolf. You Bring up your arms now. Attack your victim. Good. Grab your victim. Grab your victim. Do a victory dance. Victory dance. I got my victim. It tastes like chicken. Good. Arms at your sides. Power it down. Give this young lady a round of applause. She made a werewolf.
Sean Martin's last game. <laughs> me, your new host. Clap for me. Come on, clap for me. Yeah. Clap for me. Clap for me. Yeah, Jim. Oh, yeah, Jim. Me. Just, okay, never mind. All right, just Let's watch this raw footage right now from Eddie Murphy's comedy, The Nutty Professor. Dude, we gotta get out of there. See, no sound effects. You know why? He didn't really hit him. See, we had the sound effects after the filming is done. I'm gonna demonstrate that right now. I'm gonna play back that scene. I'm gonna add in the sound effects using Foley. Check this out. This is pretty cool. This is Foley. This is a Foley stage named after Jack Foley, the man who invented this type of sound effect. Right here. Please put your clothes back on. You hurt yourself. You look like a roast chicken. Ooh, that was a good one. <laughs> that was a lucky shot. <laughs> And that's Foley. Oh, thank you, thank you. Please sit down. Stop it. Sit down. Just like that. Stop it. You see, kids, this is what five years at a junior college gets you right here. So, we're going to sound effects some dialogue to see this kid, Peter Pan, and the Academy Award winning King Kong. Let's meet all of our Foley artists. We're going to start over here. What's your name? Wesley, when that light goes on, you are going to be the footsteps of King Kong. So go like this. And just keep that up the whole time the light's on. Got it? Awesome. Have fun. You, sir, what's your name? Nick? Oh, good. I hope that works out for you. Hi. Right. Hey, what's your name? Natalie, you're like a little Tinkerbell. You're gonna make Tinkerbell sounds, Natalie. When that light goes on right there, go like this. Ooh, pretty. And just keep that up the whole time the light's on. Got it? You excited? Yeah! Woo! Tinkerbell! Yeah! Woo! Stand there and ignore me. Sure. It's like every other woman in my life. Okay. What's your name? Graham, you're also like a little Tinkerbell. Graham, you're gonna be the ADR guy, Graham. AD, you don't know what you got yourself into. ADR is automated dialogue replacement. We're gonna replace some dialogue right now. Here's what's gonna happen. When that light turns on, I want you to read number one into the microphone, okay? At the end of number one, it says scream in parentheses. I'm gonna cue you, I want you to let out a big scream. Light goes on a second time, read number two. Light goes on a third time, you read number three. Light goes on a fourth time, what are you gonna do? Read, read number four. It's one, two, three, four. It's a very difficult pattern to pick up. I understand. All right, let's plant this. Turn number four right now. Ready? Go. We I'm flying. That's not bad, Graham. That's not bad. But remember, I said you were Tinkerbell, so you gave me more Tinkerbell. Okay? A little higher than Tinkerbell. Tinkerbell, go. We I'm flying. There you go. Let's take it out. Four is Tinkerbell. The rest are more manly. Okay. Now, what do you do if it says repeat? Say it twice. Keep saying till the light goes off. Have fun, Graham. Hey, what's your name? Get over here, guys. Can't sit down on the job. What's your name? Ariana, what's your name? Austin, this is Ariana. Ariana, Austin. Just yeah. anything? Huh? 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 <laughs> <laughs> I have a hairline up here, guys. All right. Red light goes on right there. You guys are going to be the footsteps of the horses in Skitsy Race, so just go like this. And keep that up for like 45 minutes, all right? <laughs> what's your name? Bobby, when that light goes on right there, you did this before. Oh. Well, then all you know what to do. Just spin the little wheel, spin the crash box, make a lot of noise, keep it up until the whole light, until the light goes off. Got it? Awesome. Audience, I need your help. You see that Walla Walla sign? Woo. That's a term used for crowd noise. You guys are all going to be a crowd watching Seabiscuit's race when that sign lights up. Start screaming, start yelling, start cheering for Seabiscuit, and start throwing money to me and these guys, okay? <laughs> Keep on doing the money thing. And Nick, what was your name again? <laughs> Nick, okay, good. All right, see that light right there? When that light goes on, big climax of this whole thing, it all comes down to you. You are going to be King Kong, Nick. I need a big King Kong roar. Let me hear it roar, Nick. <laughs> Come on, King Kong, he's a big angry guy. Go on, King Kong. Uh. <laughs> yeah, you're very special. That's good. Okay. All right, that light goes on there, Nick. You gotta go crazy. Go nuts. Get angry. Don't do anything until your light goes on. Got it? I believe in you, Nick. They believe in you. Believe in yourself. Here we go. Everybody ready? You ready right here? Let's make some sound effects, guys. Everybody watch your lights. Let's make some noise. I'm gonna work these fun digital effects. Let's see. That was her. Okay. <laughs> Look out! Behind the wall! That's a lot. And they're off! Ooh. Are you ready, boy? Let's go. And the horse is dropping in. See this game breaks the outside. This chucky is Spider-Man.
question. They want to do it. Oh, you got me. I like this one. Let's do it. Let's do the whole thing. Yes. What happened? Did, oh, all right. All right. Here. What? Chanting stuff now. People are screaming. I'm getting scared. I'm scared for you, actually. I'm right, gonna play it back with all the sound effects. When we get to your part, you're gonna do it live, Nick. Okay? You gotta make this up to me. But to do it live, I gotta put you in a live mic because I turned you off. Come on back here, Nick. I got some headphones back here. Have you ever heard of a timeout? Yeah, just get in here and think about what you've done. There we go. Good. All right. Come on over here, everybody. Everybody, come on in here, guys. You can turn around. Great. We're gonna watch right up there. Come on over, guys. Hey, we're gonna watch right up here. We're gonna play it back with all the sound effects. Let's get some light for Nick. Nick, watch your light. See, just get the horse to get a running start. Kind of cool. And they're off!